Wow. Teach this class. Waiting like a bunch of idiots. Well, the joke's on you. Because I am your teacher, William Wellingtuts. And did you notice me? No, no, why? Because I was in the background. Bring a snap to that, Lord of the Gat, hey, what I'm aiming at. I be the boy. No, 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 we do not clap for background performers because we are not We're not the central focal element of the difficult craft of filmmaking. Should all be taking notes. That's very important, you'll need to remember that later. Hello, I am William Wellingtuts. I am the founder, primary instructor, and administrative manager at the Background School of Performing Arts. I found that the Hollywood life was not for me. I find the people there to be um, somewhat self-indulgent, um, very arrogant, and background performers tend to be very modest, um, very wonderful, sort of excellent people. You know, they're not the type that are going to brag about anything. Um, and I just wanted to meet more of those sort of wonderful people and really bring attention to the fact that the background people are in fact the most important part of a film and that we do have something to be proud of and that the people who are the leads really need to acknowledge that they would suffer um, sort of without our performances. Waiting at a bus stop, blend in. Blend in. Blend more, blend more. Don't let me see what you're thinking, that's the trick. I started as a classically trained actor in the theatre and just found that it wasn't quite for me. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Uh, what are you thinking uh, about? Tell me! The bus? I could tell! Don't think about anything! Nothing. Just blend in. Um, you know, in the roles that I played, um, I was never the, the le lead per se, but I did have very big roles um, that I would consider large roles. And I just found that I felt more important um, in the background. That's sort of where I ended up. A few teachers said, you know, you, just, William, to the back. And I think that was one of the most helpful things they ever said to me because I really have quite taken off. This is really not working. This is really, it's really difficult for you to camouflage yourself. Are you still thinking about him? Him? Still thinking about him? No, you're not. Not in my class. All right, you know what? I'm over this. All right, what we're gonna do is just cover everybody up because no one seems to be able to... I'm happy with that because I can't see Yes, I want you to be like this white blank board. Wait, wait, what? Just a, just a quick question. Just a quick question. Background performers do not have questions. <laughs> yes, the fake talking, I get that question quite a lot actually. Um, I like to keep it fresh. I don't like to say the same thing over and over. Some people are like pineapple, banana, watermelon, and I think that's mundane and frankly not helpful for a performer. Okay. What do you say? Uh, peas and carrots. Peas and carrots, that, no, we don't use vegetables. That's ridiculous. What are you saying? Bubblegum. Bubblegum? Why, why food? This is real life. You're talking about bubblegum, peas and carrots over dinner. No, 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 okay. We use real things in real life. We want to insult the other person. We want to make them feel something, something that really gets them, okay? For example, I might say to you,
Do you know what I said? No, but you feel it, don't you? I was insulting your interviewing skills. <laughs> Not that they're bad, by the way, that was just a, an example there. Your interviewing skills definitely are um, in development, I can tell. You might say to her, your eyes are as dull as dishwater. And how do you feel? How do you feel now? Hurt. We don't say what we feel. All right, say something to him. You're so... Oh, no, 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 no. Not with your voice. No, with your mouth, you still have to move your mouth. Your yeah, no, we're not. All right, we need to internalize that because we're not a lead. What does lead rhyme with? Need? Greed. <sighs> mm -hmm. And we're not greedy background performers. Come speak, have a conversation. That's much better, that's much better. I like that a lot. People ask me about my method quite often. Um, and I ask them, are you a student at my school? And if they don't answer yes and show me their enrollment papers, then I say, well then, I'm not going to tell you because you haven't paid me. <laughs> That's just a joke, um, but it's also the truth. You get to be anything, every day something different. Um, one day you're a kid in the hallway, the next you're one of those little writers in a coffee shop working on your screenplay, gonna make it big, you know? The next day you're a runner and you ran in a marathon and maybe your wife is cheating on you and you're running to that man's house to find out whether or not she's cheated on you. Um, these are sort of stories you just invent, of course, they're imaginary. Um, and it's zombie apocalypse, you know, every sort of thing. It's, it's just really wonderful and you do have to be versatile if you want to work. That is what I tell my students every day. Yeah, you know, times were getting a little tight, so I figured I'd pick up some extra background work and stuff. Um, I mean, he seems fun. Uh, he's a he's a bit of a douche canoe, but yeah. All right, you're waiting. The lead has just gone to the reception. Okay. His lover is dying. Your mother is dying. One week left, three days maybe, two hours now. Let that sit with you. Okay, but don't, not so much, you know, we don't want to notice you. So you can have to reel it all back. Take all that motion and channel it into just sitting there. Um. He's gonna walk by, he's gonna walk by, and no one will know that you're but your mother, your poor mum. I paid like eight hundred dollars for this. This is just a one-day course, and I get, I get really willing tats. And he, he gets up and he does this little oh, oh, check it. I'm an actor, not a real actor, mind you. I am a background actor. It's, fuck, man, just have a little dignity for yourself. If you're going to study anybody in the background performance industry, you study Bradley Starshan because he's brilliant. You see his work is right here. He's coming, he's coming, and he's gone. And nobody noticed him. That's a brilliant thing. He's actually got one more appearance in this particular picture. And you've missed it. I do not believe in the term extra. Um, we do not use that term at the Background School of Performing Arts. I believe it's offensive. When I'm out and I'm, say, at a restaurant, I try not to use the word at all, so if they don't bring enough dressing for my salad, I won't say, can you bring me extra dressing? I'll say, I would like some more, or I would like additional dressing. Um, I would like dressing that is in a larger portion than what you've brought. And I don't say extra, because that implies that 
you're not, you know, the dressing in the first place wasn't even important, which it, it very clearly was, otherwise the salad would taste like shit. There aren't many people that I admire outside of the background performing world, but um, I have found one individual in particular, Murphy Jones is her name. Um, I find most leads to be a bit pretentious, but she's quite um, enrapturing, really. Um, I'll just show you a little bit of a, a clip here that I have acquired. Um, now you see there, you, do, you don't even really notice her, and that's the thing, but she's the only thing to notice, which is sort of the irony of it, I suppose. <laughs> Very subtle, but completely captivating. This is sort of, she's a part of the drapery. Um, very good camouflage. I always tell my students to camouflage, and she sort of takes your breath away. There's nothing pretentious about her. There's nothing self-indulgent about her work. I think I'd like her to come visit the school if she could, just to, um... I'm sorry, but I, I'm sorry.